This is a linear inequality which we treat exactly like a linear equation until the end. The way we're going to choose to graph this one is a slope-intercept form because it's already solved for y. So we identify slope first, which in this case is going to be negative 3. So our m is negative 3. Our y-intercept is going to be 5. And we remember when graphing uh, using the slope-intercept method, we first graph our y-intercept. Um, our y-intercept is always uh, on the y-axis, which in this case was 5. Second, we use our slope to generate other points. Our slope was negative 3, which we can write as negative 3 over 1. Remember, slope is rise over run, so your, your numerator always tells you how far you, up or down you go. Since it's negative, we're going to go down, and then it's over 1, so we move to the right one. We do this twice just to get three points to make our line a little straighter. Um, next, we decide that it's a dotted line. We know it's a dotted line because it's just less than. Less than or equal is a solid line. Less than is a dotted line. Now we have to decide which side to shade on. So we plug in a point, and we're going to plug in the point 0, 0, or the origin. We plug that in for 0 and for x, 0 for y, and we come out with 0 less than 5, which is a true statement. Thus, all the points to the left are tr going to be true also. So our solution set is all the points to the left of the line, which we designate by shading um, that region, which shows that any point in that region is a part of the solution. <laughs>